Hi students, in this video we shall discuss about functions in PHP. So you know what is a function is, right? A function is a group of statements that together perform a well-defined task. Okay, and you know that a function has different parts like function declaration, function definition and function call. Uh, and uh, in PHP both the, this declaration and function definition that comes together and the general form of uh, the function definition is given here so this is the general form of function definition function function name then the parameters uh, in parentheses followed by the body of the function in curly braces this is the general form of php function so here this function this is a reserved word or keyword in PHP that indicates the uh, definition of a function followed by the function name and the parameters if any then here you can write the body of the function now we can call uh, a function using uh, by specifying its function call so uh, a function call can be specified by giving the function name along with the parameters if any the function may or may not return a value using return statement and variable should be declared to uh, receive the result returned by a function okay so for example here you can see a function and the function name is sum and it doesn't take any arguments uh, and uh, this function it calculates the sum of two numbers and returns the sum okay so the function call for this uh, function sum is like this dollar result equal to sum okay so this is the function call so um, it doesn't take any argument but it returns a result and it returns the sum of two numbers and the result gets stored in this variable result now function uh, overloading is not allowed in php and function cannot be redefined in php okay that is uh, an important thing function overloading is not allowed in php now function definitions can be nested means a function definition uh, can contain another function definition that is possible in php function names are not case sensitive okay that is we cannot define two functions with name sum and sum okay so we cannot define two functions with having name small, small letter sum and capital letter sum this is not possible in php uh, now return statement uh, i have already mentioned uh, that specifies the value to be returned to the caller and we can keep all the function definitions in a separate file and then copy that file into those documents where they are requested this can be done using include function okay this include function we have already discussed in the last video and now the parameters in a function can be of two types actual parameters and formal parameters actual parameters means the parameters that appear in function call that is called actual parameter and the parameters that appear in the function definition is called formal parameters so the parameters that comes in uh, function call that is actual parameter it can be a variable or expression but the formal parameter it must be a variable name and the number of actual parameters and the number of formal parameters need not match of less actual parameters they will be treated as unbound variables and if more actual parameters the extras will be ignored okay so there is no need to match this number of actual parameters and formal parameters now moving to next topic parameter passing mechanisms in php so most of the programming languages uses two mechanisms to pass parameters to a function right so one is pass by value and pass by reference okay so php also provides these two mechanisms to pass parameters to a function one is pass by value and second one is pass by reference 
so first method is pass by value so in pass by value method only a copy of actual parameters are copied to formal parameters and changes to the formal parameters doesn't reflect in actual parameters that is it's a one way communication also consider this example so here this function max function name is max abs so this function it compares absolute values of two numbers and return the maximum value among them okay so it takes two arguments dollar first and dollar second okay first it finds the absolute value of uh, both arguments and then it compares these two numbers uh, and returns the maximum number or largest number so the function call for this uh, function is like this max abs dollar a dollar b so here dollar a and dollar b are the actual parameters that is the parameters that appear in the function call and dollar first and dollar second are the formal parameters formal parameter means the parameters that appear in the function definition so here a copy of actual parameters is given to formal parameters that is dollar first and dollar second and in this function we are changing the value of uh, first and second not the value of dollar a and dollar b okay so here only dollar first and dollar second are updated not a and b so this uh, type of parameter passing technique is called pass by value method now moving to the second method that is pass by reference method so it provides a two way communication here the address of actual parameters are passed rather than its value so if the formal parameter is changed then that change is reflected in the actual parameter also so in php there are two ways to specify pass by reference one is we can add a ampersand symbol to the beginning of formal parameters or we can add a ampersand symbol to the beginning of actual parameters okay so there are two ways but the second one that is uh, adding a an ampersand symbol to the beginning of actual parameters that is not used in programming you, uh, the commonly used method is add a and symbol at the beginning of formal parameters formal parameter means the parameters that appear in the function definition that is called formal parameters so we can add a ampersand or and symbol to the beginning of formal parameters so here consider an example uh, that uses pass by reference method so here the function call is like this set max dollar m the value of dollar m is 0 and dollar a comma dollar b and this values are received by some formal parameters dollar max dollar first and dollar second respectively so here you can see an and symbol before dollar max that means we are passing the address of dollar m to this dollar max that means dollar max is pointing to dollar m so if we make any changes to dollar max that will be reflected to uh, this dollar m variable okay so these two are related so this is the pass by reference method used in php now the scope of variables so the scope of variables uh, uh, used in a function it can be of uh, local scope or global scope local scope means the variable defined inside a function we can use the same name for a variable as a variable used outside the function so that is called local scope global scope means it's visible uh, the variable uh, that is visible throughout the program uh that type of variable has a global scope now the lifetime of variables the lifetime of local variables the time from the variable is first used until the function's execution terminates 
that is called a lifetime of a local variable a local variable means a variable uh, declared inside a function that is called local variable and its lifetime ends when the function terminates function's execution terminates now in php a local variable in a function can be specified as static by declaring it with the reserved word static okay so we can use the reserved word uh, static to declare stack static variables in php uh, so when we define a variable as a static variable the lifetime of those variables is until the browser leaves the document in which the php script is embedded so here in this example we are declaring uh, this dollar count as a static variable so when uh, we call this function do it for the first time the value of this count will be incremented by one and it will print do it uh, has been called one time okay and when we call this function for the second time it will print do it has been called two times okay so this function displays the number of times it has been called so in the next video we will discuss about pattern matching in php thank you